549. What do nonprofit foundations have in common that save orangutans, help at risk youth, and educate children on bees? They were all started by children, and they're also the winners of this year's Barron Prize for Young Heroes. Joining us live this morning via satellite is author T.A. Barron and two winners of this year's contest, Madison Borva and Rhiannon Tomtishan, for their project, Oranges. Orangutans really need Girl Scouts. Good morning to you all. Good morning. Good morning. First of all, uh, T.A. Barrett, look, what makes a local hero and how do you choose the winners of this contest? Well, you know, this prize is just based on a real simple idea, Mike, and that is that every kid, no matter what background, can make a positive difference out there. Every kid can be a hero. But most kids don't believe that. Mm -hmm. And so the only way to really convey this idea is to tell stories about real young people. And I know that as a storyteller, you've got to convey an idea in a story. And the best story of all is real live young people who've made a difference in the world. So kids who apply to the Barron Prize um, or are nominated for the Barron Prize, simply on our website, barronprize.org, they are nominated and the winners are kids from all around North America, 25 a year, who have really done amazing things to help their mm -hmm. neighborhoods their, or the wider world. Now, Madison and Rhiannon, uh, first of all, can you tell us a little bit about, now am I pronouncing this correctly, oranges? Orangs. Orangs. See, I knew Our I was getting that wrong. Began. Right. <laughs> Orangutans really need <laughs> Girl Scouts. Uh, tell us about this project. Our project began back in 2007 when Brianna and I wanted to earn a Girl Scout Bronze Award. And so we began researching endangered species and we were inspired by Dr. Jane Goodall's work with the chimpanzees and so we decided to become advocates for the orangutan and we discovered that their habitat, which is the rainforest, is being cleared in Indonesia and Malaysia for palm oil plantations and palm oil is an ingredient used in a variety of products. It's used in cookies, candies and cosmetics and so as Girl Scout cookie season we realized that palm oil was an ingredient in Girl Scout cookies and so we were determined to design a campaign to show Girl Scouts USA that Girl Scouts across the country and cookie consumers wanted to see a change in the recipe. And quickly, what kind of reaction did you get? We've received a really positive reaction from Girl Scouts themselves and from Girl Scout cookie consumers. Unfortunately, we haven't, um, we haven't achieved success in that palm oil hasn't been removed from the cookies yet, but we're working to make that happen. Yeah, you keep pressing on. Also, uh, T.A. Barron, uh, can you tell us how other people can get involved, our viewers, to nominate kids in our own local community? Yes, all you need to do is go to the baronprize.org website. That's B-A-R-R-O-N-P-R-I-Z-E dot org, baronprize.org, and click on nominate and you'll see all the information you need. And if you want to have your hope renewed about the world and read about these amazing kids, just click on Meet the Winners when you go to the Barron Prize website. All right. Thank you very much, all of you, for joining us this morning, and best of luck. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.